So would this is what you would have read normally this whole This thing? is what's broadcast to everybody. Clarence, check with the 9904. Check with the 9904. We are ready for you to send us a route revision. Great, thank you guys. It estimates how much fuel it's gonna, we're going to have over each point, what time we're going to get that kind of goes out to the west and goes down to the south. We were heading to a situation uh, where on Wednesday, uh, CEOs of the major airlines in the United States were saying they were going to have to cancel a ton of flights because of restrictions that were being imposed at airports where a new 5G wireless service is being rolled out tomorrow. Uh, as the day has gone on, AT&T and Verizon have said now that they will delay those networks are activating those networks around some airports. It's a little bit unclear how many airports they're talking about and whether it's going to be satisfactory to the airlines. The telecom companies had agreed earlier, about two weeks ago, to reduce the power of their transmitters uh, near runways for the next six months. Now, the deal they struck with the Federal Aviation Administration says that after that, they're free to do whatever they'd like, and that that is not sitting well with the airlines. But at least until early July, they have agreed to reduce power near, uh, near airports. Altimeters use a, they, they operate wireless, wirelessly as well. They use a spectrum of the radio band that is fairly close to this C-band section of the, of the uh, spectrum that is used for this new 5G service. Uh, the telecom companies say there's enough space between these two ranges that uh, the new service is not going to pose any interference problem to uh, aviation. Well, they're not talking about closing the airports. Uh, th this would be decisions made by the airlines based on restrictions that have now been uh, published by the Federal Aviation Administration. The airlines say these restrictions in terms of uh, where you can land and with what equipment and under what circumstances uh, are going to make it impractical or impossible to land, particularly in times of low visibility when, say, the weather is bad uh, at a lot of airports, including some major ones. The telecom companies and the Federal Communications Commission say, look, the airlines had plenty of time. They knew this 5G so-called C-band uh, spectrum was going to be used. It was going to be auctioned by the federal government. They had plenty of time to check their equipment to make sure their planes could operate safely around these networks, as they say is done in many other countries. And, and they just didn't do it. And the airlines and the Federal Aviation Administration are jumping in late. The aviation industry says, well, we tried to raise these issues before and the Federal Communications Commission didn't take us seriously or didn't give us uh, you know, their full attention, didn't do anything in regard to the concerns that, that we raised. So it, it's, it's kind of a standoff there.